be showing you guys how to decorate your planner using scrapbook paper and also themed stickers from Etsy shops. I want to show you some of the stickers that I have been loving lately. So let's start off with the first spread and this was inspired by scrapbook paper. Isn't it just so bright and colorful makes you so happy? So I'm just going to cut out some of the journaling cards that came with the scrapbook paper and I'm going to set it to the side for later use. You guys will see as I always hole punch the paper and then attach it to my planner to add like additional space for notes. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut out these little pentagons out. And the colors are just so pretty, I can't get over it. I really wanna use this scrap of paper as a cover, but then I was like, hmm. I'm not sure because then I feel like I want to have all the little pentagons and designs in there. So now let's move on over to washi tape which is what I love to use. It's my favorite. I feel like I could just decorate a planner with washi tape because it's so bright and colorful as well. And I'm just going to attach that to the bottom of the planner and then a little banner on the side and I'm using two different kinds of washi tapes. One of them was a gift from Elle and the other one I believe I bought at Paper Source. I feel like I need to balance out the decor in my planner. So on Saturday and Sunday, it's kind of like a free day so I don't have too much going on that day. It's mostly like family time. So that's why I like to put like decorations there. So I'm just gonna add some of the little designs on that side and then even it out on the other side with the rest of the designs. And I kind of go back and forth on what I want. I'm really undecisive sometimes and then I'm like, okay, you know what, it just looks cute like that. So I'm just going to attach it on. <laughs> Then I felt like it needed a little bit more color in the center, so with washi tape I just went ahead and added a little strip, which I can still write on top if I need the space. And now let's move on to stickers. I got this sticker book from Me and My Big Ideas. You guys can find it online on Hobby Lobby. They sell it at different places and I just love all the quotes. I think it's really cute and pretty. I think it balances out all of the designs, so I went ahead and I put one smack dab in the center to make it look super adorable. And let's take a moment and talk about these page flags. These are handmade and they're from an Etsy shop called Exo Mama Plans. And she has a variety of different colors and each individual flag has adhesive on the back so it's almost like a sticker. So you're getting a lot for your money because it's pretty much a bunch of stickers in a cute little notepad size. And I like to use these to write down my editing schedule, my upload schedule, and also like when I'm going to film or anything like that. I feel like it really stands out on my planner and it's easy for me to see. That way I can keep track of what I'm doing throughout the week. Remember that journaling card that I put aside? Let's insert it inside of our planner now. So all I did was mark where I want the holes to be. And then with a the hole puncher, I went ahead and made the holes. And with scissors, I'm just gonna make slits so that it can go directly into my planner. It's super easy to do. You can do this with pretty much anything. If you wanna keep like a cute invitation card or anything like that in your planner, you can just stick it right in. And on the side, I also like to add some notepads or sticky notes on the side just as cute reminders. And now let's begin our planning. So I usually don't film this just because I fill out the week as the week goes by. But for now, I'm just going to jot down the things that I know are going to happen that week. For example, I know that on Sundays I always like to plan out my week or decorate my planner. And I do a couple weeks at a time. That way it makes it easier on me and I don't have to plan every single week like decorate the pages I mean. And then I'm just going to write down some things for work like what I'm going to be doing. And I'm using these stickers from Two Little Bees which I love this Etsy shop. You guys should definitely check it out. She has the cutest theme pages. And the rest of my planner will be filled every night before I go to bed to fill in what's going to happen the next day in my to-do list. And that is all for this spread. Now let's move on to our second week. On Sunday night when I decorate my planner, I like to do a couple weeks at a time. That way I'm not rushing to get things done. I'm going to use these stickers from Fabulous Designs and I love that she has themed sticker sheets. That way it makes decorating a lot easier. And she was so kind enough to give us a discount code. So if you put in Belinda15, you get 15% off your order. And I'll have all that information in the description box below along with the other Etsy shops that I mentioned. So for now, we're just going to cover up the green with washi tape. And this is actually glitter washi tape. I found it at Michael's. It was like a pack of 14 different um, colors of different glitter tape. And I think with my coupon, it was only $7 at the end. And since there's so much green, I'm going to cover them up with the stickers because screen doesn't really fit in this whole thing. So I'm going to try and cover that up. 
What I love about her sticker designs is that you could still see the writing on top of them. So even though they're decoration and they look really pretty on there, some people don't like decorating their planner because they feel like they will not have enough space for them to write in, but you don't have to worry with these stickers. So I recommend these for you if you have a lot of planning to do, but you still want to decorate your planner. You can still see what you're writing even though there are stickers there. Her stickers are meant to be for the Erin Condren planner, but even though I have the Happy Planner, I'm going to make it work in my planner just because they're so adorable. And I'm also going to add the stickers on the side where I usually keep notes or lists that I have to do. And I'm going to add my menu for the week. So what I'm going to cook throughout the week by using these tiny ones. Then I still felt like there was too much green on this side, so I just cut out some scrapbook paper and filled in the squares myself, which is another option if you don't want to get stickers. Then I went ahead and cut out another one of these journaling cards from a scrapbook and I inserted it the same way that I did the other journaling card in my previous week. And that is all for this video. Comment down below and tell me what kind of planner videos you guys would like to see next. If you guys like these plan with me videos and I'll talk to you guys next time. Muchos besos. Mwah.